So guys, welcome back to Make It With Wood. On this episode, I'm going to be building a vivarium for a tortoise. My wife came home recently with a tortoise and a tank for it. A uh, big sliding glass front doors on it, but it's all enclosed in. Um, we've done a little bit of research and found that open tops are better for tortoises, better air circulation and it, it helps their shells. So we're going to be building a vivarium. We'll have a arm over the top for a heat lamp for it to bask in during the day and we'll put a hide in one of the corners it'll be a fitted hide with a lid so if you'd like to see this build please stay tuned so i started with an old sheet of pine it was about an inch and a half thick I think it was a wardrobe or something and I ripped it down on the table saw. This would make up the sides and ends of the vivarium. Then moved to the mitre saw to cut it to its final length. I made the vivarium so I could get all the sides and ends from one sheet of pine. Check the cut list and set of plans available at www.makeitwithwood.com I then had an old sheet of half inch ply that I used for the base, cutting it down on the table saw and started to drill and countersink the holes around the perimeter. And it was here when I realised how much time is saved using the drill and countersink combo bit. I will leave a link in the description to where you can purchase a set of these. I had tried screwing the sides straight to the base but realised that building the sides and then first then attaching the base later worked out much easier and quicker and also kept things square and true. I then stood the whole thing up and realised I'm just too short to reach up there. I had toyed with using the ladder but just removed the end, pre-drilled holes in each side and countersank them. Then moved the whole assembly to the floor where I had a much easier time screwing them together. I then went ahead and tested the base to make sure it fitted with no problems. It did and I began attaching using screws. I think in total I used around 25 screws in the base. A bit excessive I know but it felt secure so what the heck. Now as I used a recycled ply board for the base, it already had some cut lines in. So my workaround was that I had some cork floor tiles that were perfect as they had a varnish side that was waterproof so any fluids on them would not be a problem and I could cut them using a Stanley knife. And the other side was a flat matte finish for super strong glue ups. So the next part of the build was actually erased from my SD card and I've not been able to recover it. So I'll just explain what I did. So I had an offcut of plier from the base and used this to make the divider, measured the width and height and then cut out an archway for access, then simply attached using seven screws, two on each side and three underneath. Then I attached what would be the light arm, which will hold the heat lamp and screwed this on using two screws. I used a piece of 5mm plier to cut out the lid over the divider to shelter the tortoise in as a hide. I also went ahead and cut a bunch of 3mm hardboard strips for the side and top trims, glued and nailed them on. Thank you for checking out this video please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button any comments you have please leave below and i will try and reply to all or as many as i can and i'll see you on the next episode bye